So here we are at stage four of uh, vacuuming with the uh, shop vac, <laughs> grooming with the shop vac. And today I am going to actually turn on the vacuum and uh, do a little bit of grooming. We've prepared really well. We've done our homework. We've taken the steps that we need to take. And uh, today I have no reason not to um, expect everything to go fine. But, you know, every day is uh, a different day. This is a windy day again today. So I'm just going to go out to get Dreamer. Before I do, uh, I just wanted to mention that this vacuum uh, is a model that I chose specifically for grooming horses because it uh, is very quiet. It's uh, quiet running and it also is completely plastic. So there's absolutely no way uh, that friction, uh, static electricity can be built up in it. And of course that is uh, transferred to the horse. So I'm very pleased with this product and um, I'm gonna go get trimmer and we'll see what we have, what we have today. <laughs> All right. So I just put a few uh, little alfalfa cubes on the uh, vacuum cleaner. Something uh, you can or you don't have to do. I just, it's not coming from my hands. It's kind of like a surprise. So uh, it makes the vacuum a lot uh, friendlier to him. I've been doing that off and on, not every time. Um, and again, just as a surprise, like, oh, boy, there you go. There's something good on this vacuum cleaner. So um, while he's taking those off, I might just... Uh, Again, just revisit the wiggling around. Now, what I I haven't been able to access completely successfully is dragging this around um, so it rolls. So when I'm grooming uh, behind him or uh, back behind uh, the ribs, I basically pick this up and uh, put it down again. I will work on that continually, but right now that's not available for him. Uh, in fact, all of my horses are not sure of it being dragged, especially when you're not around it. If I were to um, if I were to drag this right now and it, it came from my hand and my body, it doesn't seem to bother them. But when you're over there and you have this long cord and you're not a, you're not really attached to it and it starts moving, it can become a little worrisome for them. So, hey bud, you ready to get vacuumed? I just took him out of the uh, pasture, so he still has winter coat on. First thing I'm going to do is, of course, let him see this again, and I'm going to go right to turning it on and see how he is today. Again, windy day. My dogs are out running in the forest. He's facing. Uh, he's not facing the forest right now. Uh, so all of these things I keep my eye on, and I don't want to uh, prepare a, uh, a situation where it's sterile, where I set all of this up like it's not a normal situation but at the same time I have to be sure uh, that I have looked at each one of those things as we've gone along so let's just turn this guy on and see what happens hey so hopefully you uh <laughs> you can all of a sudden there's something new so I am staying grounded in my energy like it's not a big deal um he even sees there's another little cube there he's going to touch that and there's a little snort Never done that before, uh, but he's not willing to take that cube uh, off. That's fine. So we'll just leave that on till later. Okay, so the noise doesn't seem to bother him, which, of course, I'm hoping that you can hear me over top of this. You just may take that little cube. Good on you. You can have it. And there we go. Beautiful. So I didn't help him take that cube. I just stayed uh, grounded. And if it was his choice, then that's a good thing. All right. So let's see how we do today with this. Now, this has some suction to it. And of course, I've been practicing with it um, without the machine on a, a great deal. This is the first time that he actually feels a little bit of suction on his 
on his body. Now, I will allow him to drift it back if he needs to. And then we'll just do a little bit of a retreat and approach here. And again, he's telling me I need to understand this a little bit more. <clears throat> it does sound, and of course it does feel, um, different. Hey, bud? Yeah? So again, today, I might just get parts of his neck and his chest done, and that's just fine with me. Remember, the, uh, his, his particular issue all of his life and continues to be with new things is behind his ribs. So um, you may have a horse that's like that too. A lot of horses are. A lot of them have some uh, issues with things happening behind them. And this is another good way to prepare them for that. So you can see he's drifting back. And I'm just going to ask him with a little bit of pole pressure to come forward. And, you know, we'll just play this uh, back and forth game. Asking him to draw forward. He's doing a pretty good job here. Shiny, shiny, where there's no winter coat. And of course, I, uh, as I said before, um, always on the other side. So you can't see me any longer. But I'm always looking for is one side um, more comfortable than the other side. And if that's the case, I would probably start on the comfortable side and then do more of the unconfident side. That's pretty good. <laughs> well, again, all the time, yeah, he's just drifted back for the first time, and it's on that side. If you notice, and you can go back to the video, when I was on his uh, right side, he didn't feel that he needed to drift back. Now, at this point, and I'm going a little faster because of the video, uh, because I'm on video, I'm not going to drag the vacuum closer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick it up today and just bring it a little closer so it doesn't move on its own. And again, my energy is grounded. I'm not going to uh, anticipate that this is going to be scary for him. First of all, because we have prepared. And again, today, if I can be successful from in front of the drive line, and that's all I can be. I call that a day. That's a success. Combining all of those great little, great little lessons that we did in preparation for here. And I will work uh, at this daily um, and, and, and work farther and farther back uh, from his shoulders. But I'm really happy with that today. You can see for Dreamer, his head is relaxed. Ears are wobbly. Again, there's things going on in the forest there, but uh, I've done my homework and so has he. And we've worked together as, as partners. So this end result isn't scary. So I'm really looking forward to the day where this particular piece of apparatus can take all that underlying dirt underneath his coat, particularly in the winter time, and bring a shine up again. It, uh, it's, it's actually kind of a fun thing to do. So I may visit this um, just informally and show you how we are now um, vacuuming the entire body, but I hope that helped. I hope that um, was for some reason a little bit of inspiration for you that it doesn't matter what the obstacle is. If you allow your horse to feel it, uh, sometimes taste it, see it, hear it, and those are the things that are important in for him to build up some uh, uh, confidence in you as a leader so that uh, that trust isn't broken. Right, Mr. Clean Man? We'll work at it. Thanks for watching.